CS50 is the best online course I have ever taken. David Malin, the way that he presents election, he doesn't hiccup once. He doesn't say, uh, 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 this or that, I'm sorry. He doesn't, he doesn't get confused. This guy gets to the point on the spot and he delivers an excellent lecture. The first week, week zero, it's all about Scratch. Now, Scratch is not something that I don't, I don't think anyone's really going to use that in the professional. I haven't seen any jobs on LinkedIn looking for a Scratch programmer. I think that if there was such a job post somewhere, they'd be posting it in like middle schools because Scratch kind of seems like a language for elementary or middle school kids. But anyways, it's a great way to learn the basics. It was very easy to understand the lecture. It flew right through. I even watched it in a 1.5, the normal speed. So I was done with the lecture and, and then I went on to the homework and the homework is pretty easy. I mean, it's kind of complicated if you really think about it. It has the specs there. You have to follow the specs. And it took me about, you know, five or six hours to figure it out. But in the end, I figured it out and I made basically a copy of the helicopter game that shows up. If, if you've ever used Google Chrome and for some reason you lose your internet connection. I remember playing helicopter game back in the early 2000s. And it's the same game, just here in Chrome, they're doing it with a dinosaur. But basically, I made a copy of that game. I figured that given the specs that they were asking, I'd be able to like fulfill all the homework requirements. And, you know, it's, it's an idea that I had pretty much solid in my mind. And I, that would be my like number one recommendation. You know, if you're walking, if you've never done any sort of computer science before, if you've never done anything that's like a project, and if you've never done any video editing or anything like that, if you've never done any type of project you should approach the homework with already an idea of exactly what you want to do read the instructions well read them twice read them three times they're very clear once you read them you should use pseudocode pseudocode is just to write out your intentions in like a little word file half a page write out step by step number one number two number three pseudocode what it is exactly that you're going to do and then go out and do it and david malin also suggests when you're actually implementing it don't implement all of it at once implement it step by step. And I think that's the way to push the homework, otherwise you're gonna get lost. And if you don't have a solid idea of what it is that you want to build, once you start building it, you are gonna get, you're gonna get into builder's hell. I'm telling you, if you're in builder's hell, just stop, stop, stop coding, stop working on the homework, stop whatever, log out of scratch, go for a walk, come back to the reread the instructions. We're not looking here to build a great app. We're not looking to, you know, completely build the best idea ever. No guys, we're just trying to do exactly what the homework says so that we can pass on to the next week. Do not get stuck more than five, six hours on the homework. I understand it's the first homework ever. It's, it is kind of daunting, it's kind of hard. Do it step by step, make sure you know exactly what you're building and then go out and build it. If you're trying to figure it out or if you start building something and then in the middle you say, well, you know what, I think this feature will be a nice feature or that feature will be a nice feature. You're never gonna finish the homework and that's not the point. The point here, again, it's not to make a perfect thing. The point is just to pass. It's very important that you stick to this mindset moving forward in the course. The course only gets harder. The first lecture, I only had to watch it once, but guess what? There were lectures in the course that I had to watch three times. So the mentality that you need to approach the course with is we are doing the minimum. What is the minimum? Enough to pass the homework and move on. This is also gonna help in the future if you continue in computer science and you're trying to look for developer jobs. We're not trying to build out here the best app ever, guys. We're just trying to fulfill the technical requirements that our supervisor gives us, and that's it. Why? Because otherwise we get lost and we lose focus. And in the end, we end up building nothing and not even finishing anything. So if you approach the homework with an awesome idea and you start building it out and see how it goes and you have another idea, which is even better. Whoa, what a great idea. And then you try to build out as well. In the end, you're gonna end up not building anything. And you're gonna get stuck in week zero. <laughs> and week zero is not a good place to get stuck.